In this problem, we are asked to evaluate the integral of arctan of 9t dt. And this problem most likely is being assigned in the chapter on integration by parts. But what's a little strange about this question, perhaps, is that normally with an integration by parts problem, you would have one function being multiplied by a different function. So for example, you might have the integral of the function x multiplied by e to the 2x. And that would be a clear indication that you would be using integration by parts because again, you have one function being multiplied by another function. In this particular case, it seems as though we only have one function. We have the arctan of 9t. There isn't really another function here unless you want to call one another function. So in those cases, it usually works out that you will let the u equal that sole function. So in other words, we're going to let u equal the arctan of 9t. Therefore, the dv will be the rest of the expression that you're trying to integrate. In this case, the rest of the expression would just be dt. So we would put a dt right here. Now, to go from u to du on the left side of our little table here would require us to take a derivative. And we might need to review how to compute the derivative of an arctan function. Now, fortunately, we have a nice formula from a previous chapter on derivatives that tells us how to do that. And we can see that the derivative of the arctan of a function u is equal to the derivative of that function divided by 1 plus the function squared. So when we do the derivative, we're going to need to follow that rule. So here we go. Remember, our function is 9t. This is basically our u. So in the formula, when we have u prime, we would need the derivative of the 9t. And the derivative of 9t, of course, is just 9. And then we're going to put this over 1 plus, and then our u, again, is the original function inside the parentheses here. That's 9t. And then don't forget to square it. It will be wise for us to simplify this. 9t squared would be 9t times 9t, which is 81t squared. So why don't we just change that to 81t squared. Okay, great. And then we go over to the other side to go from dv to v requires us to integrate. Now, really, the only thing we're integrating is 1 with respect to t. And the integral of 1 with respect to t is just t, of course. So we have filled in our template. And the next thing we need to do is follow this formula in the purple box for integration by parts. And so we can see that we'll have the integral of u, which we said was arc tan of 9t times dv, which we said was the dt. If you can look back at the chart to confirm that. This will equal the u, again, which was our arctan of 9t multiplied by v. Look back at the chart, and you can see that v is equal to t. We could say times t like so. I think it's more convenient to put the t in the front here. So we'll have t arctan of 9t. Continuing on with the formula, we have a minus sign and then an integral of v, which is t, multiplied by our du, and then our du is this expression right here. We did forget to put a dt here. Technically, we need that. So we should actually have 9 over 1 plus 81t squared and then dt. We are about halfway there. This is fine. We don't need to simplify that any further. But we do need, of course, to evaluate this integral right here in order to complete the problem. But before we evaluate that, why don't we simplify it? We'll switch to a single color here. So we're going to have t arctan of 9t minus the integral. Now, the best way to simplify this, I think, is to factor this 9 to the outside of the integral. So we can do that whoopsies, like so. So we'll put the 9 there, then we'll have the integral. Then you have, when you factor out that 9, you have a 1 right here. And then of course, t times 1 is just t. So you'll have t over the 1 plus 81t squared dt. Now to evaluate this integral right here, we'll require another specialized technique. And it turns out we're going to need to do u substitution on this. So we're going to let u equal the denominator here. So we have to kind of take an aside and let u equal the 1 plus 81t squared. We recall with u sub, the next thing you do is take the derivative. So the derivative, the 1 would go to 0. 81t squared would be 162t 
dt, then I like to solve for dt when I do my u substitutions. So to solve for dt, I would divide both sides by 162t. And then once I have my dt solved for, I like to resubstitute it into the expression. Now remember, we're integrating this expression right now. You can set aside everything else. So we'll just come over here. We'll have the integral of t over, now remember the one plus 81t squared, we had let equal u. So we'll just put a u there times the dt, which was this expression right here. And what's nice about solving for dt is typically variables will cancel. So in this case, the t's are going to cancel out. We'll leave a one up here as a placeholder. In fact, we can factor out a one over 162. So we'll have one over 162 integral of one over u du. We recall that the integral of one over u du is just the natural log of the absolute value of u. So we'll have one over 162 ln absolute value of u. And then finally, we remember the u in terms of t was this expression here. So we have to resubstitute that back in. We'll have the ln of the absolute value of one plus 81t squared, like so. So that becomes the integral that we highlighted in yellow, okay? So we have to basically, for the final answer, sort of recopy all of this, but when it comes time to multiplying by this integral, we're gonna put in the expression that we just developed. So let's summarize the final answer here. You're going to have t arctan of 9t, and then it was minus nine times that integral, and we just evaluated that. So that's the answer we had got by doing the u sub. Like so, we'll put a constant of integration there. We can then basically simplify it by multiplying the nine by the one over 162. And that actually reduces, because you're gonna get nine over 162. And if you divide those both by nine, you actually get one over 18. So the final, final answer is t arctan of 9t minus 1 18th natural log, absolute value of 1 plus 81t squared, close off the absolute value, and then plus c. And that should be your final answer. A side note, technically, we won't need the absolute value because this expression inside, this 1 plus 81t squared, that's always positive. And so you wouldn't actually need that. So you could replace it with the parentheses if you wished in this case.